Hi, I'm Sam. Today, we're gonna cast a kidney stone in resin. Let's make! If you were with me back in March, you may remember this clip right here. I ended up getting kidney stones, so I had to go to the hospital to get those taken care of. Uh, they are something I would not wish upon my worst enemy. After I pass that kidney stone, I've already had mine analyzed, so I know exactly what causes them. So it's just been sitting in a baggie ever since. So I thought it would be a fun idea to make a keychain out of my kidney stone. As you can see from this clip right here, kidney stones are very sharp and jagged and they hurt a lot when they're coming out. So I figured what better way to internalize and memorialize the situation than casting that stone in resin and making it a keychain. Before we get into that, I did just want to take a quick second to remind you that if you like weird stuff like this, why don't you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell. I upload a new video every Monday at noon. Without further ado, let's get into this. For this build, what better shape than a kidney? Because as I'm sure you're aware, kidney stones come from your kidneys. I decided to try out a new silicone. This one takes a lot longer to cure, but it cures much, much harder, which I'm a real big fan of. Fun little side note, if I were to put a monetary value behind this keychain, it would cost about $1,500, because that's what my bill was to go to the hospital for kidney stones. The registration marks that I tried to make here are good in theory because it lines up the silicone perfectly each time. But as you're about to see, during the degassing process, the silicone filled in all of the areas around making one giant mass of silicone, which I had to cut apart anyway. Whenever you're making a casting mold, it's really important to put vent holes in. This ensures that whatever material you're using to cast flows throughout the entire mold. In this case, we're using resin. The two most common types of kidney stones are calcium oxalate, which is what you see on the screen right now. These are the type that I get. There's also uric acid stones. Calcium oxalate stones are really only treatable by drinking more water, whereas uric acid stones are actually treatable with medication. As you can see in this clip, I'm using enough resin so that it comes out of the other vent hole. This is telling me that resin has gone throughout the entire mold and it's completely filled up. You'll notice a little defect in the bottom of this. I actually used that to my advantage. There was an air bubble that got caught, which made that little divot in there. I filled that with resin, so it made a little viewport that magnified the kidney stone inside of it. I found that the perfect way to polish up a resin casting to make it so it's flawless is using this headlight restoration kit. It's like $10 at Home Depot and it comes with every grit you could possibly need. I made a small pilot hole in the resin cast to ensure that when I'm screwing this in, it does not split the resin. So yeah, that's, that's what my life has come to. That's what this video is. I don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore, but 
I now have a cool trinket that I can throw on my keys and carry around, which actually, let's do that right now. So now I have a keychain with a kidney stone in it. If you like this video, why don't you scroll down, press that subscribe button, ring that bell icon, and give me a thumbs up. And while you're down there, why don't you let me know what you thought of this project in the comments. If you've suffered from kidney stones, also let me know, because I always like to meet fellow sufferers. Other than that, I think that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!